Awesome. Purple. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Oh. Awesome. Um. Happy. <laughs> oh, cool. And um, open. Imaginative and chaotic. Creative and, if I can call this one word, out of the box. Polyurethane, foam rubber, and turkey carvers. <laughs> Steve and Tracy. <laughs> You're in Leonardo's basement. Go the other way! Home to the next generation of inventors. So now we're going forward. Yeah. Even the larger sets, I think, oh, what does the world need, you know? <laughs> and how is this? And I know, I know instinctually that this is, this is something that, that the world needs in terms of creativity and things like that. Steve says the emphasis is on process, not product. Here, teachers stress skills and the importance of learning through trial and error. What's the sculpture going to be? I have no idea. It's an understanding that comes from undertaking all kinds of projects. And we've given uh, a lot of kids opportunities to make projects and do things that they wouldn't have been able to do at home. And then for other kids, just the freedom to do whatever they want to. They can change their mind and, um, and make a lot of decisions, make all of their decisions uh, themselves. And what's cool about Leonardo's basement is that it's really open-ended, and I don't think the teachers or anyone else really has this idea in their mind that this is how it's going to turn out. And the kids really have such a huge part in determining that and take leadership. And that's, I mean, that's just a valuable experience for kids to really have that, that power over their own program. There's some kids that walk in here and they sort of feel relieved to be here. They feel like this is a place where they can be comfortable in a way that they're not comfortable at school or they're not comfortable at home. And then there's the idea about how the accomplishments, having accomplishing something by creating a project or doing a team, you know, having a successful team, the accomplishments then would reinforce how they would feel about themselves. You got this problem to solve, and, and one of the things is you don't do it by yourself. I mean, one of the reasons you get stuck is because everybody's got their own idea about how to solve the problem. So the stuck part is a, it has to do with uh, working with people and trying to solve the problems of personalities and communication and things like that. Inventors Fair uh, class has been really cool because the kids just get to come up with an idea for a prototype and then they have to figure out on their own how to build the prototype. Um, so they have to figure out how to switch things up to actually make the prototype work. And half the time the prototype does not work, but that's okay because the process of going through and troubleshooting and trying to think of creative solutions is really, really the point of the whole class. Speaking of big projects, I know for, at least for um, uh, my son, uh, building the giant plywood pontoon boat with Johnny Murphy. I mean, Johnny had a, a fountain of big ideas. Uh, kids enjoyed those. There was a class on explosions mm -hmm. where they blew stuff up. Yes. And they loved that. Yeah. We built the uh, milk, cart, milk crate castle. That was so great. Uh, a lot of kids still ask about that. Yeah. When we're going to do something that big. Back again by the entryway, we have the drawbridge and the small gate in front of it. If I just grab these two ropes while the drawbridge is down, I pull them backward, which is somewhat hard to do. And as you see, the drawbridge comes up. 
to let the drawbridge down, you simply lower the ropes. For example, Lego Robotics are way more popular now than they were when we started, although they were a tiny little bit of what we started with. This when you talk about Lego is they think about building, they think about programming. They don't necessarily think about the research that goes into the research project. And our kids, I thought, learned so much more about their impact in the world and what they can do to make it a better place based on the research they had to do as part of the Lego League project. So to me, that was excellent. They had to each do a part of that presentation. They had to speak up, they had to be confident, they had to share what the research was that they did. So that was about big picture learning. It's not just about putting pieces together and spending time on the computer. So I love that part as well. And I know my son CJ has an interest now maybe in higher thinking and coming up with solutions because of that. Both of us have kids that are now, I mean, our kids were in third grade, second, third grade when we started this. Now they're in college. Hey, this is Sam Robinson at Iowa State University. I'm here studying aerospace engineering, and I was one of the first generation of kids at Leonardo's basement. I kind of had an in, some, something of an interest in engineering all my life, but it really it was really fostered in Leonardo's basement, and I learned a lot about creativity, problem solving, and project-based learning, all things that I try to use a lot of uh, as I go through and solve problems from homework style work to out-of-school out projects. The role modeling that I received at Leonardo's has prepared me to share what I learned about creative problem solving with anyone. Even if I don't know exactly how to solve a problem, I know what questions to ask to get kids thinking in the right direction. And using knowledge that I acquired at Leonardo's to help teach others, I am giving back to the community that has helped me so much. Uh, the other thing that's changed over all these years uh, is that we started off, there were about two teachers, and now there are about 30. Which is amazing. Um, and they are, you know, really an eclectic and wonderful group of people, and without them, there would be no Leonardo's basement. And they plan the whole thing. Like the teacher just kind of let them plan it and decide what they were going to do and put it up. And it was like absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like that. So you let kids do what they want, happy and challenging environment. And the best teachers indeed are the ones that stay out, out, out of the way. Right, and I guess that's another change. Uh, we now have programs for adults. Uh, we have separated um, some of the programming with younger kids, teenagers, and adults. How many of you have been to Leonardo's basement before? I've been amazed by Leonardo's basement 10 years later. How well known it is and how much we reach how many kids and families really because it's not just kids it's also well they the, the kids are fascinating because they're always changing <laughs> Hundreds and hundreds of kids have been able to get what they need out of it and I think we see that with our kids too mm -hmm. yeah. that they got that they got that and they what they got here now they can take out into the world that's an accomplishment. The Leonardo's basement itself is constantly changing. We've just uh, continued to follow the interests of kids, and the general idea has remained the same, but the projects and the programs have continued to evolve. Creative building projects, science, art, technology, that's pretty much still where we are.